we are done with the method of moments and now we are going to find out the maximum likelihood estimator in case of different distributions that we considered in our theory part. So for this let us begin with the uniform distribution. So let us consider that same uniform 0, 8. Okay. So here we will import your numpy and let me just write import numpy as np. Then we also need from scipy.stats we will import uniform. In addition to these, so these two we imported initially also for method of moments. So since here we are going to deal with the maximum likelihood estimator, so from scipy.optimize, scipy.optimize, so basically which is used for optimization, from here we are going to import minimize. This function basically helps you to find the maximum likelihood estimator. Okay. So now again we can write np.random.seed as 0 over here. Next we are going to generate a random sample. So let me first write true theta over here. True theta over here as we have considered initially also let it be 8. And here sample size is 100. And the data sample that is the variable which stores your random sample that you are taking from this uniform 08. So it will be uniform dot rvs. Again, we are using the same steps over here. Application and scale would be your true theta. And size would be the sample size. Okay. If you can recall the MLE for uniform distribution when you have uniform 0 theta, so it is basically the largest order statistic that is x ordered n, right. So here we can use this max function over here, so which will calculate the maximum value for in the data sample that you have generated over here. Okay, so if you print this MLE, print MLE of, of theta, so this one would be MLE theta that we have obtained here. So we can probably specify the formatting up to four decimal places. what you obtain is 7.907 okay so original theta was 8 and here since we are using MLE so we have taken x ordered n so which is basically 7.90 if you go above in uh, this one method of moments we obtained your estimated theta was 8.02 so a bit of overestimation is there in your uniform distribution case for the moment method of moments Okay, so because here you are obtaining 8.02 and in this case it is 7.90. If you change this, suppose maybe let us make it as 200, so it will be 7.99. Okay, so you can see that how close it gets to the true population parameter. And we will see also later that MLE is a better method of estimation because it has certain properties. So, in that sense, you can see that x ordered n is a better estimator whenever you are drawing a random sample from uniform 0 theta. So the next distribution we have is your normal distribution. So normal, let us suppose the parameters over here are same as 5 and 2. So in this case also you can see that uh, for normal distribution whether you use method of moments or MLE the estimators that you obtain are same because it is x bar for mu and you have n minus 1 over n s square that is a sample variance. 
okay so the steps would remain the same more or less so here we will just be importing the essential libraries okay so import numpy as np and from scipy dot stats we will import norm okay so we can use this random seed over here let the true mu in this case so probably we can take something else to show you suppose mean in this case is 10 and sigma is 4 so true mu let me take as true 10 and true sigma as your 4 okay so it means it is not 4 in fact nor mu sigma square so that will be 16 in this case now you are going to generate a random sample of size 100 and data underscore sample this would store the random sample that you will be generating from normal so norm dot rvs so here location would be your true mu true underscore mu scale would be true sigma and size would be sample underscore size okay we can again calculate the sample mean and the sample variance so sample mean for that we need this numpy's mean function so this would be in this way and sample variance np dot where sample data sample we can write and also we need to specify that it is going to be your sample variance and not the population variance okay finally your estimated mu in this case would be just the sample mean that you have now obtained above and because mu hat is x bar and uh, your estimated sigma would be sample size minus 1 n minus 1 over n so if you want to write this sample size instead you can find the length and use n so let us see if i just write this one only so sample size n minus 1 right divided by the sample size again and this would be multiplied by your sample variance sample variance that is var okay so let us see what are these values over here estimated mu comes out as 10.23 okay so original one is true uh, 10 and your estimated sigma is 16.25 okay so you can see that again it is close to your population parameters so this was about your normal distribution so we have seen uniform distribution normal distribution also so the difference is in uniform because normal distribution you in both the methods give you the same result so you can use them now the next distribution is your gamma distribution so let us suppose here gamma with 3 and 2 alpha beta so here we are considering shape and rate parameter earlier for method of moments we considered shape and scale parameters here let us see if we deal with the rate parameters although we have not studied that this uh, estimation method for gamma in your theory part but let us see how it is done here it is better it would explain you in a better way so for this we need certain libraries import numpy as np and we need from scipy.stats import gamma because here we are going to deal with the gamma distribution in addition to these two we need the minimize function from your scipy's 
library scipy dot optimize import minimize okay np dot random dot seed okay now your true alpha and beta let us define so true alpha in this case is 3 and true beta so alpha over here is the shape parameter and here we are taking beta as the rate parameter okay now we are going to generate a random sample of size 100 and a data sample would be generated now from gamma gamma dot do variables a would be your true alpha and scale over here is 1 over true beta because that is the rate parameter there okay so let me just mention that this over here is your rate parameter and this is your shape parameter so that is why here it will be true beta and size would again be the same that is the sample size so after this now we are going to define a function that is negative log likelihood for the gamma distribution so let me define that so define negative underscore log underscore likelihood we are going to define this like no, negative likelihood log likelihood function for the gamma distribution so this function takes parameters as params here as input and the data is this data okay here after this we are specifying alpha estimate so alpha estimate and beta estimate would be basically this params over here next what we will do we will calculate the negative like log likelihood function by using gamma dot log pdf so let me write that this function would return minus np dot sum so here we will write gamma dot log pdf in bracket it would be data comma alpha underscore estimate scale is equal to 1 divided by beta estimate okay so here we are what we are doing is that this function basically first of all takes these two as the input and then it calculates the negative log likelihood by using this gamma dot log pdf to compute the log pdf for each data point that we have over here okay and then it would sum up these values with a negative sign so this function basically that we have defined over here it will be used in the optimization process to find the MLEs now with this function we can finally find the MLE so let the initial guess guess be 2.0 and 1 because this is these are the initial guess okay so let me just mention these are the initial guess for the optimizer okay and now the result would be so we'll use this minimize over here minimize negative log likelihood the function that we have defined initially then initial negative log likelihood initial guess would be there okay so we are using the minimize function to find the MLEs so it 
is going to minimize this negative log likelihood function with respect to the parameters alpha and beta okay and we will specify this args parameter over here which is basically used to pass the data sample into the function so args will be data underscore sample this one that you have over here data dot data underscore sample comma and after this you will have your estimated from this we are going to extract the estimated values of alpha and beta so estimated alpha and estimated beta is the result dot x over here okay so if you want to see estimated what is estimated alpha so here basically after the optimization is done in this step you have extracted the estimated values of alpha and beta from this result object that you have created okay and these are the basic MLEs of the gamma distribution so let us see what is this estimated alpha so it is 2.86 so the original one is 3 and let us see what is your beta it is 1.87 okay so again it is very close to your population parameter that is 2 so in this code basically what we have done is we have taken a random sample over here from your gamma distribution then we have defined a negative log likelihood function and we use the minimize function to find the MLEs of the gamma distribution parameter okay so the estimated values would be close to the true values when you are having a sufficiently large and a representative sample okay so for poison distribution you can use the same thing because here also we had lambda hat came out as x bar only right in both the cases so the steps would remain the same and you will find that lambda hat comes out as x bar so we can skip that and instead we can consider your binomial distribution let us consider that x is following basically your binomial np suppose n is known to us so n let us let it be 10 and p p is unknown okay so for this we will import so here we just have a single observation okay so import numpy as np next would be the observed value so x suppose the number of success is 3 okay because here x in binomial distribution the random variable basically represents the number of success in n independent Bernoulli trials so in 10 trials how many success are there so suppose you know that it is 3 and n we have taken already n is 10 okay so the MLE in this case when you have a single observation from binomial MLE would be nothing but be x by n because if had it been x i so it would be summation x i because x this binomial is there right so basically binomial distribution is a generalization of Bernoulli so it means you have x1 x2 xn coming from Bernoulli so in this case in Bernoulli distribution if you can recall the MLE was the sample mean that is summation x i by n so, so summation x i is basically x here because x is binomial so we can have just this so you can now print this MLE of P here this would be MLE here MLE sorry MLE underscore P so it is point 3 okay so P hat would be obviously because it is x by n so 3 by 10 it would be point 3 okay so this basically completes your sixth week where we focused on two different methods of estimation specifically point estimation that is method of moments and maximum likelihood estimation and in the next week we will use 
unbiased estimation to see what are the properties of this estimator. Okay. Thank you.